So I had some thoughts on this uh, current immigration thing and how how our government is standing down. And it seems like they're standing down at any time that that there would be a reason to actually do something, you know, or e- even outright sabotage if you look at uh, the way things were reacted to in Hawaii. You know, it's like it's like they want to destroy any faith in the institutions and and any faith in the country. And I think it's because largely they're anti-American. We've elected people that are anti-America, anti what America was, you know, American exceptionalism and things like that. Like Barack Obama talking about bringing America down a notch. And I think this current immigration thing is one of the key things they want to use. You know, if you steal something, you're never proud of that item. It's not like you achieved anything, you know. And I know that coming into the country, you're not getting citizenship, but it's one of those deals where you're not going to be proud of the country if you're in here by uh, by uh, coming over the border illegally. You're not going to have pride in the country. You're not really even going to assimilate. And you're probably not going to be able to make very many friends with the people of the country. You know, there's going to be this divide even in the mind of the person who come across it. They're not going to learn to love America like the immigrants that had come here you know, like your grandparents and things like that. So it's, you know, all analogies break down. Yeah, is it theft? Are they full citizens? No, but it, it, it's the same principle applies. If you can't be proud of something, you can't assimilate or join that society, you know, in, in your inner man. Does that make sense? Yeah, my daughter's here too. Yep, okay, keep keep going looking for walnuts. Daddy's going to finish this. And I think that that's going to be one of the most insidious weapons against the people who are here. They want to bring the country down. So why would it be a hard thing for them to want to bring in people who already don't have an allegiance and don't really care that much for the country, but want to use it to uh, elevate themselves? And I know that there are illegals here that that were brought here as kids, and I actually have a little bit of uh, grace on that in the sense that I think if they've been here their whole life and their parents brought them over, I think they should be getting a fast track to citizenship. They don't know anything about their own country, and they probably are proud of this country. You know, and we've given those, we call them dreamers or whatever. There's, there, there are places for grace in this, but, but at the same time, the people just running across the border and jumping right on the government dole and the, the terrorists and, and all this crap coming across with them, we, we cannot allow that. And our government is allowing that. And it is, it is because they want to implode the entire thing over time. And it's easy to, uh, it's easy to get somebody who, you know, you, you would you would kind of try to have pity on, right? You, you would you'd want to have grace for. It makes sense. A lot of these people came from, you know, countries where, you know, where the cartel is the law and that type of thing. And uh, so, you know, you, there is reason for want, wanting to get out of there, you know. And, and some of them do just want to be here and uh, be decent human beings. You know, I work with a lot of people out of El Salvador, and they're awesome. So, it's you know, it's not that even these illegals are the or the bad perpetrator, but, but at the same time, you know, have you ever, have you ever found anybody that stole anything or did something? You can't be proud of something when you're, when you're subverting it. Does that make sense? And I guess that's what I mean. You know, a lot of these are really good people coming from a crap hole country. And then the people in our country are using them as a, as a, you know, too many people on the lifeboat and eventually the thing blows up. And then you got people here who, who don't have an allegiance to this country, but still want to survive. And human beings will do terrible things to survive. You know, so it's nothing against even the people who want to be here because their place is a hell hole. I get that. Uh, it, but it, I guess I'm just saying, you know, it's one of those things where our people that we have elected and have sort of gamed the system where they can almost just select themselves now. They are using people in need around the world to destroy us while claiming that they're so charitable and magnanimous with everybody else's money. So I guess that was just kind of a thought I had about all this, that they're weaponizing people in need, people that are desperate to get out of bad situations. That's how bad the people we have in charge and the people we have allowed to take over our country are.